So this play requires a little bit of um, an explanation. Managed to avoid the Stanley Parable through procrastination up until this point. Which is pretty awesome because it means he can experience this fancy schmancy new version with the same fervor and slight confusion that accompanied it when I played it the first time. It's also increasingly weird because to break the veil of our generated personas, he's actually named Stanley. So this is like, like this is like the Y2K of Stanley related events in this universe. Yeah, and I've had like uh, a couple dozen people over the past month or two uh, tell me that I need to play it because my name is Stanley. Yeah. And I just put it off and put it off and put it off. The, the one trailer that I saw that, uh, whatever your name is, and, and he showed me a trailer that looked awesome, but I was too lazy to go and get the game and yeah. play it. Well, guess what we're going to do now? We got the game, <laughs> and we're going to play it. Uh, I assume the A button starts it, and it does. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to raise your commentary level from like <laughs> low to like A, because I don't, really don't need to hear... I'm pushing the button now for the entire half an hour. Isn't that your job? Yes. Stanley, push the A button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I know very little bit about this game. Well, you should press the A button. Is it, is it, no, it is, it's loading. Okay. The A button didn't do anything. Okay, good. Thanks for reporting back your progress. <laughs> Almost. Here. Almost. Oh. oh. Okay. That was fast. Ah. Some, someone is working on Microsoft time. First it's six days, <laughs> and it's 30 seconds. <laughs> and it's a minute, and it's six days. And in the end, it doesn't work anyway. Yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, no, do not. Do not. This no. is the story of a man named Stan. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. <coughs> employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every day. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. It's just like you in real life. Be exactly. And Stanley was happy. Except and the last one bit. Day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, <clears throat> this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, I think you should manipulate the buttons in such a way that your character moves. That one's... The... You really don't play console games, do I you? I don't play console games. PC all the way. This and we're, of course, playing a PC game with a console controller. That's what makes this better. At least I know it's an Xbox controller. That that's true. <laughs> I'd rather be using a PlayStation controller because I like PlayStation better. Went back when I actually used consoles. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, you missed a memo. Is it that? Yeah, that memo. <laughs> Can I push buttons on that computer? Nope. It says no. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Your lock picking skill is too low. Is there actually a lock picking no. skill? Oh well, that's no fun. Uh, I assume there's no way to uh, get in these things.
Wait, if I came from over there and that was 27, I'm confused. Did this say 30 over here? Yeah, why why are 31 to 36 over here and the 20s are over here when my office is way the fuck over there? Someone did not plan these numbering, this numbering system very well. <laughs> I like how that's the first thing that trips you up. Oh, it's an office full of no people. <laughs> numbering system is incorrect. Can I open these ones? There's not a jump button, so I cannot jump and see if there's anything in that. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> hey, look at that computer's on. Oh. I can't play with that computer, that's no fun. <coughs> ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nothing interesting in there. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh yeah, this looks fun. <laughs> Are you just being arbitrary on purpose? Oh, it was an elevator. How could I not go down that th the funny looking elevator? He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's not the right man of state. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? <laughs> what was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes, I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. <laughs> Holy crap, there's a door there. Um, and a fan. Why? What? Why is the headlight off? What? <laughs> the, the headlight's off. That that light is in the wrong spot. Wow. Okay. Just, what the? Where the hell are you going? <laughs> I have no idea. Holy balls! No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We just, we just have to back to um. Oh. You're not closing your eyes. <laughs> No, I'm not closing my eyes. I wasn't sure if it was talking to this Stanley or that Stanley. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. <laughs> and this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. <laughs> okay. From the top. <laughs> okay. Willing to be ready but to be willing I'm, and subservient now. I'm still confused about this number. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply S missed a memo. Suspend your disbelief. And just go. But, but it doesn't make sense. <laughs> the numbers are all weird. Maybe there's I thought that's at 47. That's maybe there's a secret code in the numbers. When Stanley. Wait. Wait. What? No. I no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? 
Did you move the story somewhere or a... <laughs> Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> I was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. I'll look on that one. You have to, yeah, go that way. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> This is what happens when a party just avoids what the DM has planned. You <laughs> wander around lost for two hours, and then you or, quit. Or we go to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, or that, that was, was bad, fun. That was a Th bad that was, plan. That was a bad session. I'll say like, a, a fun this session. This is the but. worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Like I've been there well, before. I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. <laughs> but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's worse. <laughs> remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? This was my office. But look, your office has another office <laughs> in it. Never uh, mind. Never mind. What the about the story? <laughs> okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now this, well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? <laughs> Do you remember, Stanley? Well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! I win! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and you really paid off, so good job. <laughs> at all. <laughs> we both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. <laughs> okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep starting the game over. See so you... <laughs> all right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure <laughs> Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? <laughs> That's not even where you brought me before. But I want to go in here. I want to know what the other story was. Yeah. No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. <laughs> Go there. Oh, there's not there. <laughs> you see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Come <laughs> Stanley, to destiny. Nope. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story? <laughs> or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, 
Are we implying a journey <laughs> such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the <laughs> manifestation of the nature of life itself? How did I get back here? <laughs> I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree Sorry, that the that nature of existence is in fact a end. byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective <laughs> construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. I'm not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow that line. <laughs> I don't think I can climb on this here. What the hell? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think the narrator does either. I don't see anything particularly interesting about it. There is a weird thing on the floor, though. Textures! I'm assuming it's just the They're weird hard. texture. Wait, what? We're back at the office? <laughs> no, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? What? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, um... Also, that's a, that doesn't... I'm confused. Hmm. Which line am I following? I don't know. I'm gonna guess this one. Is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new <laughs> path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Why am I just going around in circles? Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. 
Mine's really trying to get our attention. <laughs> to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. <laughs> How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying Too lazy to, to turn both the joysticks. door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. <laughs> Come, Stanley, our destiny awaits. Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? <laughs> it's all one giant ending? <laughs> and we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this <laughs> thing wall. Well, Weird. who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? <laughs> How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my job at uh, pushing <laughs> buttons. Buttonpushing.com. It doesn't work. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stand Narrator has forgotten to to the this. meeting room. <coughs> it would seem so. It said something about for, follow the adventure line again on the, the confusion ending. But I don't know if when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How do you? I don't. I, don't know what. I think I want to go to the right again. This was the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I did. And the employee lounge is great. Look at this place. Wow. Yes. This room. Just drink it all in. What a beautiful room. Just what a gorgeous, in. gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. I want to see outside. Nope. Hmm. Yes. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <coughs> I went that way last time. Stanley was so bad at following the directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Do not jump while in motion. Five thousand dollars for jumping off the cargo lift. Alright, do it. I don't know, I think Stanley can afford that. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps... 
But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Five thousand dollars. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. What time is it? It actually moves. That is awesome. Um, is that, no, that's it's not the right time. 20 after 11? No. Yeah. It's like not, I don't, I don't think so. not that o'clock right now. Hey, look, wait. Is that a picture painting of the fern? Turn around. No, it's just leaves. That's disappointing. <laughs> I wish it was a painting of the fern. That would be awesome. I wonder if that fern really is relevant. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, we just this can't. Not That's too easy. This was not the way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yeah, just book it. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. <laughs> he says something different every time. Stanley took the first open door. Okay, let's left. not. I'm sorry that we, I got us to jump off. <laughs> I won't, just don't listen to me anymore. Stanley it was worth was it. was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Is this a love story now? Is it, Stanley? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. <clears throat> to let her back into your life. I feel like, I, I feel like he's talking about the invisible pink unicorn, but she's always been in my life, so <laughs> this this room is really dark. Go in there. That's her standing. Don't answer it. You need to be the one to do this. Don't answer it. To reach out to her. No. If you can truly place your faith in nope. another. Nope. no. Then pick up the phone. Stanley, I don't don't pick but, up that phone. But it might be the invisible pink unicorn. Yeah, and it I, is a lady. I have to talk to her. What if she's not real? What if she's a lie? No, she's not a lie. I know this. I... Okay. Oh, Stanley, is that you? <laughs> Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. Doesn't sound like the Pink I'm disappointed. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you actually think you had a loving wife? <laughs> they want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. <laughs> Sorry, but oh. you're in my story now. I thought I was in his story the whole time. He just doesn't remember what his story is half the time. This is a very sad story about <clears throat> the death of a man named Stanley. Oh. Press B on your gamepad. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. And every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. That's the yeah, right trigger. That's the other one. Look at him now. Pushing buttons. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now... He's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Do that. Oh, there's no way. Don't do it. But in Damn his it. mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. <laughs> From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work, was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. There's a TV. Holy crap, there is a TV. Wish I'd known that sooner, I would have pressed X. And so he began what? to what? fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he gone. stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building 
had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Yes, the that's thought right. excited him terribly. <coughs> So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to be heard. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. <laughs> Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. <laughs> and so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing I feel like I'm back in my office. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. <coughs> and I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. <laughs> But, but I have to. You see, he does not hear me. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I tried. I don't exist. Like, huh? <laughs> press L B. <laughs> I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. Don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. What the hell? I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time you'll see. All right, here we go. This time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Wow. That I seemed to have died again. That was messed up. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <clears throat> hmm. Are you going to follow his directions this I, time? I think I'll follow his directions this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, cool. So far so good. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hey, I wasn't going to read another slide. <laughs> awesome. <clears throat> Good deal. Very accurate. 
Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. <laughs> he seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around He's and no more charts. Stop, stop. This fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. <laughs> What the hell? Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's all the slides. Um, it's the bi quarterly post review review. It seems so, yes. Um, what is this one? To do list. Synergize, core values, shift global market par parade, monetize free to play. Hey, that's <laughs> that's what this is. We what? paid dollars for this originally free to play game. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, 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 but not doing that. But what's downstairs? It yeah. seems more interesting. Exactly. Nothing in here. Wow. Okay, so... I, I can't play with that either. But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during <laughs> work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for yeah. no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. That's fair. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Like for I've example, been here before. <laughs> why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <laughs> Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? <laughs> Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! <laughs> he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Oh. He thought to himself, I oh. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa. Then he imagined himself soaring through space Whoa. on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head <laughs> dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? That does now seem like a good question. describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, <laughs> he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. <laughs> After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? <clears throat> this voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. 
the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. We go through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Meh. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. What? I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> the story of a woman named Mariella. What? What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. <laughs> Mariella she rose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. <clears throat> he was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran. So, you're crazy and you died. <laughs> so. End. Oh god. Do you wanna do this again? All of this I will do this work. again. Alright. No, this isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wow. Boss makes some serious money. That does appear to be a drastic change. Oh, the executive bathroom. Okay. Um. No receptionist. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of <clears throat> any human life. Huh. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't <laughs> possibly have known this. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons <laughs> on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct... That's right, brute force. <laughs> Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What? Oh, Jesus. Hmm. 
feel like I've been in this place before. I remember an elevator with that, that exact button. God, are you a professional or what? You're just crunching chips into this fucking <laughs> microphone the whole time. Yep. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Whoa. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control <laughs> Facility. What? Whoa, escape? Yeah, let's go this way. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> I've already met, met it several times. I shall be fine. The door behind him was not shut. <laughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. <laughs> At nope. this point, Stanley nope. was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Let's do this. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Boss fight. <laughs> this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Okay. That's it. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I'm but I don't seem to be dead. That was the narrator narrator. What? Whoa. That was the narrator narrator. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Whoa. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Yeah, I can push buttons on this computer. Nice. Is this like the developer's room? I uh, maybe. Huh, I guess sort of like a commentary room. Hey! Filing cabinets. Office computers. Yeah, I can turn these off. I can't turn them back on. Wait, what? Oh, they just reboot. Well, that's no fun. Oh, hey, cool. People who did stuff with the game. The clock. Huh. 
Hmm. What in the world? Okay, Raider right home takes. is weird. It does seem so, yes. Where, which day did I come from? This way. No, there wasn't a door there. <coughs> I don't think I've gone up here yet. Yeah, give it a shot. What is that? Um, the countdown desk. Freedom yes. ending. Freedom and data. How the hell did we get here? I don't know. No, room elevator. I did not go over here yet. Apparently can't flip those. I don't even know what the hell we're what the oh trailers. Hmm. Oh, okay. This is really meta. We're watching a trailer for a game <laughs> inside a game. I don't get it. Oh, it's because we can't hear the sound, right? Cause it's uh, that could be. All right, whatever. Just yeah, just keep going. There's got to be something else. I wonder how you get out of here. I have no idea. Whoa. Point of Stanley Parable HD remixes to win. What the? Words, words, words. <laughs> hey, look, it's your bad numbering scheme. <laughs> I feel like I was here before. Okay. Um, is there anywhere else to go? Um, I don't think so. I might have missed somewhere up here. All right, well, let's take a quick peek around. Um, oh, there's this way.
That should have been your intention, making fun of people who like shooters. I think that that should be something that always happens, yeah. forever, if at all possible. <clears throat> uh, what in the what? Are you a rock? What? Whoa, hey. Narrator emails. Cool. Turn over and let's see. There was something else. Are you, are you gay? How's the game going? It's good or better than the first one. From a cool man. <laughs> Mr. Narrator Guy, I have a question for you, sir. It's your message for today. What? What is your message for today? Sent from my iPad. Jerk. Apple-loving jerk. What do the lights in the control room do? I really want to know. Nothing. Nothing. They do nothing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's just, yeah, let's go. Alright, um. Did I go over here? Yeah, there's the, this is the room with the thing. Oh, there. right. Yeah. I don't seem to see anywhere else that I can go from here. Alright, uh, let's see. Hey, there's the office. But it's a different office. They're all like slightly different offices. Yes. They're office I. <laughs> I think I looked at everything. Alright. Then let's try to leave and see what happens and then let's wrap it up because I bet we've gone way over time, but you sort of got lost and confused. <laughs> I wonder what was up with the narrator narr- what? I cannot go back. Well, here we are. Awesome. I can't think of any better way to die <laughs> than to die here in this office, the museum of the game that we are playing right now. Did you go to the left right there, or the right? Did you go that way? Uh, right, yeah, that's where I started. Oh. I went this direction and looked through everything here. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess that's it. Do you have anything else you want to do before we shut it down? That's the narrator. No, I don't think so. Um, right. Well, then... Hey, wait. Tur turn around. What was that red thing back up there? Um, one of the elevators. Oh, it's just an ele... <sighs> I was so disappointed. <laughs> um, hey, yeah, go that... What is this oh, shit? Oh, hey. I missed this, apparently. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Turn it off. Turn it off. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Do you want to do it? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to... Come on, do you want to... Just quit! You, do you want to die? <laughs> That was tense as fuck. <laughs> <sighs>